Hello everyone, welcome to the House of Horrors. Now today we're going to be talking about Freddy Krueger. This one is yet another mega scale from the Mezgo company. Toy company that actually makes them. They're 15 inches tall and they're actual talking dolls. Uh, what they do is they, um, they speak uh, quotes from the movies and stuff and other sayings like, you know, how they express themselves. So I'm going to show you that. Now when I first got this particular mega scale, it was okay. Uh, there was no flaws in it with the exception of the batteries now I will tell you this I'm gonna tell you a story here before we get into the mega scale you see these right here okay those are the batteries that go inside these mega scales as well as other you know Halloween type stuff and when I first got those I got them like about a month ago and I will tell you this I had them in my room sitting on a shelf and I hear this loud ass pop on my, and it scared the shit out of me. I'm like, what the fuck is that, right? So I thought it was something that just fell and hit the bowl. But come to find out, these things here, if you get them from certain companies, uh, they have a tendency to overcharge them or they're, you know, they're older and they explode. And that's exactly what these things do. They, they, they pop. They pop off real loud. So you want to be careful when you purchase these things. Purge them from a reliable company so that you don't get hurt because those things, when they explode, it's loud and very intimidating. It scares the shit out of you. Because I was sitting there and I'm like, Pop! What the fuck is that? Right? So, yeah. They have a tendency to do that if they overcharge them. Or if they're older, they will explode on you. So, they're button-type batteries. So, you want to be careful if you buy them in bulk. If you can find them and find them in small packages, that would be fine. And make sure it's a reliable company like Energizer or whatever the case may be. But anyway, long story short, I had to replace the batteries in this mega scale because it was like eat, eat, eat. It wouldn't, it wouldn't speak. So I knew I had to change the batteries because the batteries are dead on it. But anyway, let's talk about the box here. This is actually uh, a Nightmare on Elm Street. It is the talking version from um, Mezco figures or Mezco toys. Right. Uh, now this box is huge as you can see so I'm going to have to lay it on its side like I do with my other mega scales. I will eventually get, um, I said, as you can see, uh, a better setup so well, when I do these mega scales they'll fit better on the camera. Uh, see, talking figure. See I got to lay it on the side. This thing's huge. Because right, they're 15 inches tall. Right? Now, what I can do with this here is actually pull the camera back. So you can actually see it. Okay, that's the side panel. Okay, that's the actual close-up of the actual figure's face. And I'm going to show you what that looks like here in a second. All right, and again, it's got the hole in the back of it. Okay. Hi, I'm Freddy Krueger. They're coming out, I believe, they're in the process of actually doing a new movie. But who's going to do it? We don't know. They want Kevin Bacon to actually be Freddy Krueger. I think that would be actually be pretty cool. Because he's a damn good actor. Yeah. And there's Freddy down there at the bottom. Okay. And we got some words here. I'm going to lift this up so you can actually see them. In case you want to stop the video and actually read them. Let me do that again. So you get an understanding of the figure in itself. Okay. And that says Nightmare on the Street. There's another side panel view. This is cool. And the, the artwork on these boxes, if you want to collect these boxes, they're big. You might want to stick them in your closet or however you want to do it. But they're very cool to collect. They're just like, not so much the NECA figures. Until recently, the NECA figures had some highly decorated boxes. And I had a ton fuck in my uh, closet. But I ended up throwing a lot of them away because they were just taking up too much room. Okay. And that's what it looks like right there on the side panel. Okay. Now, as you can see, he's not in the box. Okay. So enough about that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually switch this out real quick and show you the actual figure. Okay. So let's slide this out of the way and get Mr. Kruger in the way. Okay. So now I'm going to adjust the camera so you're going to at least see his face. About there, yeah, let's go a little higher. There we go. All right. 
and pull back. And that's what his face looks like. Now normally I put this on a turntable, but we're not going to do that because I'm actually going to pick it up and show you the whole entire thing, okay? But uh, like I said, the batteries in this thing went dead, so I, I end up uh, putting those brand new ones in there. You can get them online. I don't go through eBay. I went through Amazon with these. And I think they cost me like 20 bucks for a pack of 50. But like I said, you got to be careful and pay attention to the actual company because some of these, like I said, they don't know what they're doing. They're overcharging them. So they're popping off like, you know, candy and stuff like that. It's not good, all right? Because that'll scare the shit out of you. And they can hurt you, especially when they explode. So you got to get them from a reliable source. So keep that in mind. Anyway, this is Mr. Kruger, the Mezco figure. It is 15 inches tall. The articulation, it does move in the arms here rather easily. Okay? And the hands do move side to side, okay? And it does not bend at the elbow. These are literally like dolls, okay? Same thing here, okay? Now, it does move in this one here. It has... Um, like a ball joint here and you can actually shift the hand up and down just to move this hand in, in position and this one here does not yeah it does do that okay all right there is a break in the arms right here at the elbow and you can kind of twist the arms let's see see what I'm saying all right and at the shoulders okay so that's pretty cool all right now I got it shut off right now, and I'm going to show you the back of it. The back of it. <laughs> but this is Mr. Kruger. The fedora is made of some kind of like cloth material. Right. Now, when you get this, okay, you can see the little uh, creases here. They will eventually work themselves out. All right. Now, what I'm going to plan on doing with this is just leave it sitting up there with my other figures, okay? So I don't usually do anything with them, play with them. Every once in a while I'll grab them and hit the sound button. It's like, oh, cool, cool, and put it back. All right, that's what hit the hat looks. It just sits right on his head, okay? Enough about that. All right, the actual claw, or the hand claw, the knives, or not knives, but yeah, they're very sharp blades. Okay, these are nice and stiff too, see? And they move just like the other ones too, okay? All right, and that's what she looks like. Four blades on it. Now, I actually have a uh, Freddy Krueger glove. It's hanging up on the shelf in the back. But I just want to give you guys a shot of what this thing looks like. It did a really nice job on this, eh? The actual color scheme matches the actual Christmas sweater that he wears when he died, okay? Now, let's get into the face here. Okay, the top of his head is a little bleeding. They did a really fantastic looking job on this. The detail is ridiculous. Like I said, I got to do this from the side, so I'm sorry about that, guys. Okay. All right, let's turn it around. Look, you can see his close-up of his eyes. That's absolutely cool. The side of his face, all marred up from burnt skin. Now, this has changed throughout the movies. Uh, they had different designs of the uh, skins and stuff. There is masks out there. They're synthetic, uh, but they're like almost a thousand dollars for one of these. I seen this one video where this guy actually bought one, and you got to put a special kind of cream on your face, otherwise it's going to be very hard for you to pull it off. But it looks so lifelike. Literally, it looks just like what they put in the uh, used in the movies and stuff. That's how that's how real realistic it looks. It looks really good. He had the whole outfit and everything. He's a big Freddy Krueger fan, but anyway, that was actually really cool. The chin, as you can see, he's a little burnt, all right? All right, now, the actual bottom part of this, it does move right here at the hips, okay? All right, and it does move the legs, too, so it's got a break in the legs here, so you can kind of shift it if you want to. And he's got these big boots, so these things are easy to stand. You wouldn't have a problem with that part. All right, same thing with the other side, see? All right, hips, they move out the hips, okay? All right, so now what I'm gonna do, show you the back here. Now the sweater in itself, it's kind of hard to pull up a little bit, but you don't want to pull too hard. As you can see right here in the pants, there is a split, you can pull it out. And hopefully you won't have to do that. All right, 
and so you can see the actual backing. Alright, there we go. There is the backing right there. I don't know if you can see that. Alright, and let me get a proper lighting here. But you get the idea. The button right there is what makes the voice. If you click it down, you're only going to get two settings, which I'm going to show you right now, okay? And then we're going to click it up, okay? Oh, don't do that. Alright, so now, get him in position here. The head in itself, it does move from side to side. It pivots, so you can position him in any way you want. Oops, sorry about the camera, guys. I'm kind of reaching around here. Okay, now his hat's on. So now let's just go ahead and hit the button in the back. Now this is just a two. Now one thing I notice about this one, the actual volume is not as loud as my Pennywise's or my Chucky's. It is kind of low, but you can hear it, so keep that in mind. There's another one, ready? Kids, always a disappointment. <laughs> See, that's the two, the two of them. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it up, okay? And I'm going to go for that. There we go. Switched up. So now, get him in position here. Adjust his fedora. And let's go for it. Let me find the button. Feel for it. There it is. Okay, you ready? Okay, let me pull that back a little bit so you can see him. Okay, you ready? Kids, always a disappointment. You think it was going to get away from me? Weak. See, some of the uh, voices that they do in this is weak, like that one. You can barely understand what he says there. Come to daddy. That's fucking cool. Come to daddy. <laughs> now this one here technically is supposed to have five, I think. I'm not really posit positively sure. We have to look on the, uh, the box in itself. But I only think I heard four of them because the one I think is defective. Let me see. Hang on for a second now. I'll read it real quick. We'll let you listen to the sounds again. Yeah, there's only four sayings here, but it doesn't really mention how many it does. I guess they vary between the mega scales. Like the Pennywise that I have has five sayings. Chucky, I think it has six or seven sayings. I'm not positive. I guess they just vary, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's pretty much it in a nutshell, guys. Okay, well, that's pretty much it on my mega scale when it comes to Freddy Krueger. I do have two more coming in. Uh, one is based off the Terrifier, uh, Art the Clown. We're going to definitely check that one out once it comes in. And I'm waiting for my Halloween 2 Michael Myers Mega Scale. That one I'm looking forward to, okay? Because I definitely want to hear what uh, the sound effects are on that one as well. What I don't see on Big Bad Toy Store is where I normally shop my stuff is the Jason one. Uh, I think they probably already released it. But it's on eBay, and they got it way too high in price, so there's no way I'm going to be buying them off of eBay. Unless I can find the right price for it, but I hope they will reissue it and then turn around and use it as a pre-order, and I'll just throw it right back in there. But those are the two that I've got coming in, and I've got a bunch of uh, Living Dead dolls because I've been collecting them as well. The dolls, these particular mega scales, and the Living Dead dolls, I've been collecting them solely. Now, I do have... Uh, a double pack of necker figures coming in and they're based off of the return of the living dead one of them is the mohawk uh, zombie as well as trash all right they did a full-size figure of both of them so if you guys are into the return of the living dead you might want to go ahead and check that out go to big bad toy store or just look online and order yourself it comes in a set and they run around i think 90 dollars Plus shipping and handling, it's going to be about $100 for them, but I think it's going to be worth it in my opinion. And I've got a bunch of Living Dead dolls coming in. i got The Crow coming in. Now, I did see the new Crow movie. It was a good movie. It had some resemblance to the original, but not much. It was a different approach in the way that they handled the... 
Eric Draven, okay, and Shelly, uh, in that movie, they, she just kind of disappeared into the water and stuff because, they, you know, they killed her, they, they smothered her, and, you know, just like in the original movie, I think the way that they handled it in the original movie, the storyline, the emotions are so much better, in my opinion, in the original. Now, don't get me wrong, when you watch this movie, it's going to be okay, you're going to like it for what it is, okay? So keep that in mind. And Bill Skarsgård, who does Pennywise, is uh, Eric Draven in that movie. He's a great actor, so you can't, you won't be disappointed. I promise you that. And Living Dead Dolls, I got the Crow coming in, as well as um, I got the Terrifier. I just did that one. I got the Terrifier Little Girl. Uh, that one's uh, coming in too, as well as a few other things coming in. They're based on the dolls. And like I said, I got two more of the Mega Scales coming in, and I should be done for a while. Uh, but who knows what the future may bring. But anyway, this is my uh, review based on the Mega Scale of Freddy, Freddy Krueger from A Nightmare on Elm Street. I hope you guys liked this and enjoyed this. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell as I do some more videos. Okay? In the meantime, everyone have yourselves a good day.